In Excel, consolidating multiple sheets into one master sheet is a common task. For instance, you might have separate tabs for monthly sales that you want to combine into a single master sheet. Many users struggle with this, but there's a simple automated solution to streamline this process and save hours of manual work. The common approach might be to copy and paste data from each tab manually. Sure, you could select each month, copy it and paste it into your master sheet. But this method is static. Any changes in the original data won't reflect in the master tab and new tabs won't be included automatically. Let's explore a better way using the VStack formula. This formula allows you to stack multiple tables. Simply type the VStack formula, select the data range from January to March, and voila, a consolidated sheet. However, there's a catch. If you add new data to any month or introduce a new tab, VStack won't update automatically. So neither manual copying nor VStack is dynamic enough for her needs. So what's the ultimate solution? Power Query. This tool can automate the process of combining multiple Excel sheets and even files into one. Here's how to do it. Start afresh with a new Excel file. Go to the Data tab, select Get Data, and choose from File, then from Excel Workbook. Select your original workbook containing the monthly sales tab and click Import. The Power Query Navigator will open to show you a preview of your data. Select one of the tabs to start with, for instance, Jan, and click on Transform Data. You are now in the Power Query Editor, but you're only working with the January tab. To include all tabs, go to the Applied Steps pane and click on the source tab to return to the beginning where all your tabs are visible. Now you can see all your tabs listed. This step is essential as it allows us to set the stage for working with all the data from different tabs in one place. Let's clean the data by removing any columns that are not needed in the consolidation. These columns are not necessary, so I'm going to have them selected. Right click and select remove columns. Now, let's expand all the data from the selected tab to ensure it's visible and can be worked with in a consolidated format. So click on the expand icon here, the two arrows next to the column header for date. Make sure all columns are selected and click OK. You will notice that for each new sheet, there's a header row repeated. We have the same thing at the bottom. To address this, click use first arrows as headers to set the proper headers and have this header renamed to months. You'll notice that we still have the repeated header here. So filter out any unwanted rows by clicking in the drop down menu in the column header and deselecting any unnecessary rows. For instance, we don't want the date row, so we deselect it and click OK. And we no longer have the extra rows anywhere in our data set. Once you're done transforming the data, click close and load. Your consolidated data from January, February, and March will now be in one table. Now, let's test the dynamic aspect. I am going to add a tab for April in the original workbook. Save it and refresh your new workbook. We had 90 rows earlier, so let's refresh it. Now we have 120 rows loaded. You will see the April data added seamlessly, proving that this method is truly dynamic. But what if your data is spread across multiple Excel files? instead of tabs. No problem, Power Query undoes that too. So in your new Excel file, go to Data, Get Data, from File, then from Folder. Choose the folder containing your monthly Excel files. Power Query will list all the files for you. Then click Combine and Load to merge the data from all files into one table. With that, you have the data in all your files merged into one table.